Hi, Mogu. You look tired. Hi, Mofi. I've had a hard day, but now I'm resting. If you're rested enough, you could read my poem? A poem, Mofi? That you wrote? I'd love to read it. Mofi, it's brilliant. Hi. What's so brilliant? Mofi's poem. Can, Can we, we read, read it too? too? Me first. No, me first. Read it together. Hi, Mogu. Hi, Mofi. You do remember that we're meeting at Carrie's house, don't you? We're going to decorate the Christmas tree. Yes, Mofi. I remember, but I don't know if I'll make it. I've got so many Christmas cards to deliver before I can come. Oh, poor Mogu. I'm sorry. But maybe I can help you. Thank you, Mofi. But are you sure delivering the post isn't as easy as it looks? I can try. The first card's for Mr. Steinbach, who lives at 17 Cliff Rock Top. I told you it wouldn't be easy. Pass the card to me, please, Mophie. <sighs> Mr. Steinbach, you've got a Christmas card. Well, thank you, but this is for my brother, not me. Look, the first name is missing. You'll find him over there at the top of the cliff. But... Oh. First delivery done. Mr. Bear Wild is next. He lives here at 13 Dark Cave. I hope he's not asleep. He could get very grumpy if we wake him up. Mr. Bear, hello. A Christmas card for you. <laughs> oh! Who dares to wake me from my winter's sleep? Where are you? You can't hide from me. Quick, Mofi, let's go. Ah! Mogu, what are you doing here? I was frightened. The rain streamed into my burrow. I thought you were a ghost. A ghost? Snuggle ah! under with me. Where's Carrie? He's with Lee and Sue. I was on my own with the ghosts. Uh, there's no such thing as ghosts. I hadn't walked far when I started to feel very sorry. Oh, dear, Mophie. I was so sorry we had quarreled. My poor heart ached. Then, in the forest, I met Mogu. Or rather, I bumped into Mogu. He could see I was sad, and he wasn't cross. He asked me what was wrong, so I told him. I'm so sad. I quarreled with Carrie. Tell him you're sorry. We're not talking to each other. Write him a letter. I can deliver it. What a good idea. It was. So I wrote right away, and Carrie wrote right back. So it began. Lots of letters. I wrote to Carrie. He wrote to me. And Mogu ran from tunnel to tunnel delivering the letters. We were almost friends again. Hi, Mogu. What are you doing? Hello, Mofi. I'm sowing flower seeds. Flower seeds? They will grow into flowers. How wonderful! I would love to grow a flower, too. You can. Look, Mofi. Those are seeds of a beautiful forest flower. Run, Mofi. Catch it. Wait for me, little seed. Ah, caught it, Mogu. Oh. Poor Mogu. He worked so hard, and now he's even hurt his leg. We should do something. Hmm. I know. Why don't we each take some postcards and deliver them ourselves? That's a great yeah, idea. A Let's idea. go. Yeah. <laughs> Whee! Here we go. Just a minute. Postcards. All delivered. 
Delivered? Yes, we did it. All together. Now you can rest and enjoy Christmas time with us. Thank you so much. Friends of the forest sharing this time of peace and joy. Mofi! Mofi! Hello, Mogu. Mofi, you know how you thought I called you Lazy Bones yesterday? It wasn't me. And the same thing happened between Carrie and Sora. So we're going to meet at the playground to work out what's going on. Let's go. My friends, something odd is happening. Sora thought I called her Silly Billy, but it wasn't me. And someone called me Lazy Bones. I thought it was Mogu, but it wasn't. Someone is having great fun teasing us. Who would be so naughty, Carrie? Uh, uh, naughty, naughty. Uh, uh, uh. Lazy Bones. Uh, naughty Carrie. Lazy Bones, Lazy Bones. Silly Billy. Uh, lazy Bones. Naughty, naughty. Don't call me names. Don't call me names. <laughs> oh, it's a parrot. He's been calling us names because parrots love to repeat the words they hear. It's a parrot. A parrot. Mr. Parrot, maybe you'll join in my song. Mr. Parrot, what have you done? <laughs> done. <laughs> You made trouble for everyone. Everyone, everyone. You said fool and silly billy. Silly billy. Ah. Making mischief willy nilly. Willy nilly. Now it's time to close your beak. Shut it tight and please don't speak. Don't speak. Ah. Oh dear. What a wind. How are you? Are you all right? Well, it's nice up here. I've never been so high up. It's a brand new world to me. Don't worry, we'll get you down. We'll go ask Beaver for help. Okay, Sora. Are there only acorns up here? No, behind here there's a cherry tree. And a little bit ahead, a peach tree and an apricot tree. And is it possible to reach them without ever going down? Sure, these and many others. Fantastic. Mogu, Mogu! Beaver has built a very long ladder. You'll be home in minutes. Don't worry. Um, maybe later. We'll see. I'm fine here for the moment. Huh? Um, well then, we'll come back later. Moon, Mogu has lived on the tree for a week already. Do you think he's going to stay there forever? Is he happy in his new home? It seems he is. And is he still your friend? Sure. Mogu is our friend, just like before. But his tunnels are being filled up with spider webs, and Worm is all alone. Oh, what a sun. Here's tomorrow's mail. Thank you, Sue. You're a very good co-worker. Here, this is to Foxy. This is to Mr. Steinbach. This one's to Carrie. This one's to Mummy Mouse. And, oh, this one's for me. It's from my friend, Worm. Dear Mogu, I'm happy to learn that you are fine in your new house. Here, our tunnels are no longer the same since you left. They are full of spider webs, and wasps are building their nests here. But don't worry about your roots. I water them every day. I'd love to come and see you, but I would dehydrate up there with that sun. And don't forget, drink a lot of water. Aww. Oh dear, it's so hot. It's unbearable. In my tunnels, it's cool in summer and warm in winter. Speaking of tunnels, I'd like to dig one. I'd better go down. I wonder what Mogu is doing on the tree. Yep. It would be nice if he were here again. Yes, I miss him too. Oh! Mogu! Mogu, how nice! You came back! Yes, I missed home and my roots. And digging tunnels. Mogu! Worm! You look tanned. Really? <laughs> you know, that place is not really made for us underground creatures. You forgot this one. 
Mofi, why are you so sad? Look at those flowers. They're beautiful. They have blossomed, but my little seed is still sleeping. And I am still waiting. Hello. Hi, Carrie. Carrie, my seed won't grow. The seed needs time, Mofi. It has to absorb water from the soil and warmth from the sun, then it will grow. How much time? Do I have to wait a week, a month, a year? You can't hurry nature, Mofi. I am not waiting anymore. What's the matter, Mofi? I planted a seed and I waited and waited, but nothing happened. Don't be sad, Mofi. The seed will grow into a flower. You just need to be patient. Nature always takes its time. Mofi, Mofi! Come on! The seed has sprouted! Really? Yes! Come down! Oh, at last! A green shoot! What did I tell you, Mofi? You just needed to wait. You were right. Now I'll be happy to wait until it turns into a beautiful flower because nature takes its time. <laughs>